What is going on everyone? Griffin here coming at you with some Helldivers 2 gameplay and today we're going to be talking about the problem or the not so problem with shotguns. So let's head over and let's talk about it. So as you can see here, I am actually in Helldivers right now, looking at the primary weapons here. So if we're going to compare apples to apples and kind of give this a little bit of a foundation to discuss, the default assault rifle, the AR-23 Liberator, has a damage of 55, capacity of 45, recoil of 15, and a fire rate of 640. Now whenever we start looking at this compared to the shotguns that I have actually unlocked, the SG-8 Punisher has a damage of 405, capacity of 16, recoil of 120, and a fire rate of 80. Also, the SG-225 Breaker has a damage of 330, capacity of 13, recoil of 55, and a fire rate of 300. Uh, the rest of the assault rifles have comparable damage to the actual Liberator. So whenever you look at the Liberator uh, Penetrator, it has a damage of 45. It holds a little bit less ammo. It has a little bit more recoil and it has the same fire rate. Whenever we're going to look at the Liberator Concussive, it does a damage output of 55, capacity of 30, recoil of 28, and a fire rate of 320. Now, the biggest reason why I personally feel like the shotguns are kind of like in a current meta state within Helldivers 2, if you want to call it that, is specifically comes down to how they function while you're actually in a mission, right? Whenever you're playing an assault rifle, submachine gun, something like that in Helldivers, whenever you reload, you lose all of the ammo that was currently left in that magazine. Let's say that you have a capacity of 30 and you fire 15 bullets out of it and you go to reload as all of us are akin to do, especially playing shooters ever since we were children, you're going to lose those 15 bullets. You're going to have to re-up on your magazines whenever you start running low because of this. Whereas with shotguns and some of the other weapons in the game uh, that, I, that aren't magazine fed, you can actually load in single bullets at a time. That way, whenever you have downtime outside of combat, you are able to actually reload the weapon without losing anything. And I think that that, to me, is one of the biggest factors on why shotguns feel so good. You're doing a very significant amount of damage. Sure, your capacity is a little bit less. Sure, the fire rate is it could potentially be less, right? Nine times out of ten. But you are doing so much damage that it's negating those factors of the capacity of the fire rate because you're able to still dispense just as much, if not more, damage than you are with any type of automatic weapons within the game currently. Uh, and that to me seems to be the biggest factor is the fact that whenever you reload an assault rifle or a submachine gun, you're losing any reserve ammo that's left in that magazine and it's just gone. Now, I think one thing that would be nice if they could do this to kind of balance it out just a little bit better is actually increase or allow you to purchase something that increases the amount of reserve magazines that you have for any mag fed weapons i think that that would help out tremendously they could introduce something like that as well with things that are like single round reload where you could potentially get something whether it be like armor or some other a stratagem or some other you know thing where it does allow you to reload a little bit faster whenever you're reloading one shell at a time but i do think that allowing players to carry more than like eight to ten magazines for magazine fed weapons would help balance out the entire situation because if you drop in playing against anything terminids automatons it doesn't matter you're going to be going through your eight to ten magazines that you have fairly quickly uh, especially when you first drop and you're just in the middle of the gunfight you haven't had time to call in your support weapons anything like that you're going to run through that stuff fairly quickly now yes you can get the resupply the resupply drops in there's only four things on the resupply which will completely fill up your magazines it was it won't fill up your grenades or your stems unfortunately but it will completely fill all your magazines up but you're going to run through them just as quickly so you almost have to rely on your stratagems more so whenever you're running automatic weapons and magazine fed weapons than whenever you're running shotguns because shotguns are still going to be able to do a ton of damage 
and they're still going to be more reliable and you're not going to be wasting anything. And that's the biggest hurdle that I found myself trying to tackle whenever I've been playing Helldivers is actually like understanding that whenever I reload in during downtime, whether I've used all my ammo or not in that magazine, that it's just going to go away and you're just going to expend that magazine and that's going to be that. It's hard to break it, especially whenever you've been doing it for 20 plus years at this point, where whenever you have a second, you're going ahead and reloading so that whenever you get into the next firefight, you're good, you're ready to roll, as opposed to, well, I've got like five shots left in this magazine. And it would be nice if the game would tell you exactly how many bullets you have left. That way you can weigh in and judge when you should reload the weapons based on the damage output, the range, etc., etc. If I'm using something that only has one or two bullets, bullets in it sure i'll reload it forfeit that one or two bullets so that i'm not having to actively try to reload the weapon whenever i'm in the middle of combat as opposed to well i don't know exactly how much i know that it's in the red but i don't know if that's 10 shots i don't know if that's five shots i don't know exactly how much i'm going to get out of this i think that a small quality of life changes to some of these mechanics in the game and some of these notifications that you get in game would be 1000% helpful in every single way. Just like whenever you're using energy weapons, it would be nice if the energy consumption and the cooldown mechanic was a little bit more prevalent instead of like at the very bottom of the screen where you can barely see what's going on over there. It would be really nice if you could absolutely see what's happening with that and you could actively monitor it and 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 play around the limitations of the weapons, right? And to me, if they did that, then that would just put the game in a much better spot overall. It's not a bad game. Don't get me wrong. It's not It's not a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. It's one of the best experiences that I've had playing video games in a very long time. It's just there's a few things that they could do to make things a little bit better. And speaking of that, like whenever you look at your, your armory, your armor provides benefits, right? So it gives you... The armor rating, speed, stamina, regen, things like that. And then it also gives you some type of passive ability. Have they introduced any helmets or capes that give you any type of passive abilities? And if so, where are they? It would be really cool if they would use some of that stuff to introduce these uh these different variables of like reload speed, et cetera, et cetera, and possibly open it up. It would be cool if you had boots, it would be cool if you had gloves, it would be cool if you could you know, get other pieces of equipment that allows you to do different things and be more successful during a match. But that is my current thoughts on shotguns and why they are so powerful. I don't think the shotguns need to be changed. I just think that the, the other weapons that are magazine-fed weapons do need to be adjusted slightly, or there needs to be a way that you can increase the reserve ammo that you have for those weapons and make it just feel a little bit better overall whenever you're comparing it to something like shotguns. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the shotgun situation inside of Helldivers? And do you think that there's something that the devs could do to make this just a little bit better? If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays and also on Sundays, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you're interested in available please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Thanks for watching, guys. Is he dead? Fuck. That uh, sounds about right.
the hell is this? Oh. Requesting sentry. I'm slow ass thing. <laughs> You'd think it would already be fueled. Engaging terminal. You have accomplished the 
Damn. There's a bug hole up here. You want to go close it? I'm just glad that we don't have to fight against flying enemies. At least for right now, we don't have to fight against flying enemies. There's a shitload of bugs right there. Yeah. There's some supplies. supplies right here if you wanna if you need to reload. Yeah, I went back uh after I finished the route today, I had to run the route because the normal person had the day off, you know. And um, after I got back, which I got back at like 4:50, so last time I got back it was like 5:30. So I'm 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 speeding up. I'm improve, yeah, improving the time. But um, he was like, "Can you come in tomorrow and do packages?" I said. If you absolutely positively need me to come in to do them, I will. I said, I haven't had a day off since like Tuesday of last week. And I was like, uh, you know, I was going to take my car up to Black's and get the oil changed in it and get them to, um, I'm throwing a thing in here. I was like, but if you can't find anybody to do it, you know, or anything like that like I, I don't mind coming in like I can drive my other car if I need to um, you're gonna be right in the middle of your stuff
But I was like, I don't want you to think that I don't want to work yeah. because, of course, I want to work. But also, like, <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm tired and I also have stuff that I need to take care of that I just haven't been able to, you know. Yeah. We got it. Dropping a pin, northeast, on my position. I didn't mean to drop that pin there. Let me, I'm gonna reload real quick. Sentry. 
Clear, fool, get, <laughs> get in here. Pelican 1, arriving at coordinates. Pelican 1, landing in progress. Did you see what the new missions are on here? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. 